So I'm very flattered to have been asked to share a few thoughts with you regarding career development and then also begin to give a sense of what I think are some of the critical factors for the next 10, 15, 20 years for the sector in which we work. Now careers are fascinating moments. Everyone's day can be very different. There's lots of twists and turns, there's unexpected joys, there's unexpected moments of toughness. So I think the most important thing I'd say overall in terms of my sense of you know, the last 20 years of my career is that it is absolutely a journey. And it's a journey that you've got to enjoy. There's not an end state, a kind of like, you know, the end of the rainbow moment. Instead, it's the chance to really make sure that you enjoy all the journey points, that you're learning from it, that you're soaking up huge amounts of insight, knowledge, experience from others around you. And that is genuinely the biggest piece of advice someone ever gave me that I found useful, is to enjoy the journey rather than focusing on the end state. You also shouldn't believe that it's meant to be perfect. I know sometimes you can watch a sport and someone does something absolutely perfectly. I remember my granddad was a big snooker fan, so I used to watch a lot of snooker as a child. And one of the things that you always see is that perfect 147 break, the kind of like the sense that you can absolutely land the perfect day. I don't think that happens very often in work careers. I think you've just got to look at it on the balance. In the round, did you achieve more today than you set out to achieve? Or more importantly, did you make your organisation a better place today than it was at the start? And if you can go home and say that, then that's the best thing. So please don't set yourselves perfection or the 147 break. Instead, focus on making sure that you're adding value, you're focusing on the big stuff, and you're behaving in a manner that you'd be proud of. Because what it all comes down to, I think, in terms of careers, is that people would like to work, would like to like the people they work with. It's quite important, but more importantly, they've got to respect them. So the most important thing that you're looking to do as you develop your career is to deliver good things for your organisation, but to do it in a really lovely manner. Because it's that that people remember above all else, is yes, achievements are critical towards ongoing success, but how you act, how you, you interact with people is, I would say, even more important because that's your brand, that's you, and that allows people to really embrace your ideas and infectiously support what maybe wasn't their idea, but because they've got that respect for you, they decide to take it on board. So I would say, think about the how you do it, even more importantly than the what you're seeking to achieve. So that's it for me in terms of tips or career. In terms of what I think the sector is going to look like over the next period of time, I think there's a number of things that are fascinating and super exciting, and I think it's more in our sector than maybe any other sector right now. We've got some amazing, amazing mega trends. So the first of all, of course, is climate change. So climate change affects us directly. And I think there's some hugely exciting recent agreements. There's likewise some unknowns. And I think climate change is one of those topics where we're going to have to look at science, we're going to have to look at experience, we're going to have to look at what we can innovatively, creatively do to make a difference towards the future planet. What an amazing sector to work in where you get the chance to shape and grow with it. The second thing then is population growth. So that's one of the things I guess that is a dead cert in the country, is we're heading towards a period of probably accelerating population growth. And that brings with it, if you're an infrastructure player, that brings with it all the challenges of more people wanting more from your assets. But it also brings with it the excitement, the opportunity to shape new things. Again, with that population growth comes investment. With the investment comes the chance to look at creative ideas. So the combination of climate growth and population are two mega trends that we look forward to talking about for some time to come. And then I think if you look a bit, I guess, more creatively, you've got what do customers really want from us? And it's around trust. The opportunity for us to truly develop trusting relationships with customers. They've got higher expectations of us. Clearly they've had a mixed situation for a while from utility players. So the chance for us to create an ongoing trusted relationship is super exciting. And I think the water sector has got a natural head start over some of the other, some of the other sectors because people want to like the company that provides the water. And I think we've got a really amazing chance that if we create for the future, but at the same time really put customers at the heart of our sector, I think we'll avoid some of the pitfalls that other people have fallen through. They're just some of the ideas, just some of my perspectives and my thoughts. I look forward to meeting many of you at the event later. Thank you for listening.